Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show how to use the new-ish Cricut card mat. I recently made a video showing how to make the new Cricut watercolor cards and realized I never showed how to use this card mat. Before this came out, the Cricut card mat and insert cards were only available to those who owned a Cricut Joy machine, but now you can make these cards with any Cricut machine using this mat, which I think is really awesome. If you aren't a big card maker, these make it super easy to make your own cards. You can use five different card sizes with this mat. The R10, R20, and R30 cards can be used with all the Cricut machines. The R40 and S40 cards can only be used with the Maker or Explorer machines. Here's the two sets of cards that I purchased for today's video. Here's the S40 cards that I'm going to be using, and these are actually cutaway cards, which are really neat. You don't need to put cuts in all four corners of the card with these because the card actually has an adhesive on the back that the insert card attaches to. Here's the other set I'm using. These are just the regular insert cards, and the size is R40. These cards are super pretty. I love the glitter. It's perfect for Christmas, New Year's, thank you cards, really anything. I'll show you in Cricut Design Space how I put these together, starting with the S40 cutaway card. I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to give you examples using images and projects from Cricut, but you can upload your images as well. I'm going to be customizing my second card a little bit more than the first card so you can kind of see how to do that. First, I'm going to go over to my projects and you can see this little drop down. You can come here and choose cards. It'll pop up with a ton of card projects. What's nice about these is you can select one. You don't have to do any designing and you can use the card mat and quickly and easily make a homemade card. The first card that I'm going to be making is a cutaway card, and as you can see, these are insert cards because they have the four cut corners here. So I'm not going to be using one of these cards. What I'm going to do is go over to my images, and I am going to type in cutaway. In here, it'll pull up a ton of images that you can choose from to use for the cutaway cards. I'm just going to search for a birthday one. Here's the one I'm going to use and I'm going to add it to the canvas. I'm using the S40 cutaway card, which is a square. It's 4.75 inches by 4.75 inches. And you can see this is a square, so that'll work perfect for that. And if you look at the width and height, it's just a little bit smaller. So I'm guessing they created this to go specifically with the S40 cards, so it works out great. I will show you with my next card example if you want to use a design but it doesn't fit your card how you can do that. This card has draw lines, so all these thin lines here, the Cricut is going to draw with the pen. These solid pieces are all cut lines. Now what I'm going to do is click make it. I'm going to select on card mat, then select confirm. It automatically comes up with S40, so that is what we want. Since this has the option of four cards, you can add multiple to the card mat if you want to as well. I'll hit continue. I'm going to search for cutaway and choose cutaway card plus backer. Then I'll hit done. It's telling me to move my star wheels, so I will show you how to do that. I also forgot to mention I'm using a Cricut Glitter Pink Pen. I did not change the pen type because I'm only using one. If I was using multiple pens, I would want to change it to the correct colors, but since I'm just using one, I didn't feel like I had to. Card mat has a clear cover on top of it. When I first used this, I didn't realize that and I couldn't figure out why my card wasn't sticking to the mat. Here's what the inside of the card looks like. This is the adhesive part. So what I do is take a weeding tool to remove that cover on top of the adhesive. Then I take my insert card and center it. You don't want it on the fold of the card or anything. Then I press it down, face down. 
Now I'm ready to add it to my card mat. You lift it up as you can see here. Then I place the card as far over and up as I can. I press the top down. There's an adhesive on the mat so it sticks down to it. And you can see Cricut has it marked off. You can see the edge of the card is at the 40. I like to use my brayer tool to make sure it's pressed down really well so it doesn't pick up underneath the Cricut. Then I load it into my Cricut machine. Now I'm ready to load my marker. I take the little insert out because I'm using a non-Cricut one. I add in my insert. I bought these off of Amazon. They are awesome. I'll link it down below. And I'm using an ultra thin Sharpie for my marker. The Cricut will draw on the card first, then it'll cut out the cut pieces. I forgot to mention my white star wheels. I have mine all the way to the right and it didn't get in the way at all, but Cricut does recommend putting it right down the center of the card mat. Now I'm ready to remove the card. This mat gets pretty sticky, so it can make it a little tricky to remove the card, especially since it's made out of cardstock paper. What I like to do is just remove it slowly. You can also grab like your shirt or sweatshirt and press that up against the sticky mat before you add your cardstock and that can help a little. Now I can remove the cardstock and it reveals the insert card, which I think is super cool. I don't recommend using a weeding tool for this because it can scratch up the insert card. So I just like to peel it away with my fingers. Here's how the card turned out. It's super adorable and really easy to make on your own. For my next one, I'm going to go over to projects, then I am going to search for cards, and this one I'm making a Christmas card, so I'm going to type in Christmas. I'm going to be using this one, but as you can see, this is meant for an S40 card, like the one that I just made, but I'm going to put this on an R40 card. So what I'm going to do is go down here and click customize. Then I'm going to grab a shape and grab a square. I'm going to make this the size of my card, which is 4.75 by 6.6. .6. I'm going to switch this to a guide. I love this new guide feature. Now what I want to do is get rid of these cutouts on the corners because that is for a square, not for a rectangle. And to do that, I'm going to have to use the contour button. I am going to click on that layer, then I'll go down to contour, and I am just going to select all of those. Okay, now I'm going to bring this over into my guide, and I am going to size it for the rectangle. I'm just going to try that for now. Also, I am going to change my cut file to red. It really doesn't matter. I don't have to change it, but I kind of like to see how it's going to look like. This black layer here with the bow and a couple of the diamonds, that is a pin type. So I'm going to be using a black pin and all the red pieces are cut files. Now I need to bring in those cut corners. So I am going to go to images and I'm actually going to type in insert card and it gives you a lot of options to choose from, which is really nice. I'm going to select that one and hit add to canvas. Now I'm just gonna kind of bring it over here. I want to attach this with my design. So to do that, I'm going to go to my layers panel. I'm going to select on the insert card layer and then I'll hit shift on my keyboard and select my image layer. Then I'll come down here and hit attach. I also want the Cricut to draw on the inside of the card, so I am going to grab my square. I have it selected in the layers panel. I'm going to hit the duplicate button and bring it over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a text and I want this to be a writing font. So I'll come up to my font and I am going to filter for writing. I'll select the first one. It's called Alyssa Stencil Script and I'm just gonna type something in here. So I typed in a quick message. I need to go up to my style and change it to a writing font. 
Then I'm gonna bring it over here and size it within my guide. So I'll need to come up to operation type and change it to a pin. Now I'm ready to click make it, but I do wanna show you one example that happened to me the other day. Let's say I made this a little bit bigger. If I click on make it, it's gonna let me use the card mat for the writing, but for this, it is not gonna come up with a card mat because the image is too large. So if you go into the Make It screen and it's not giving you the card mat option, just make your image a little bit smaller and that should fix it. Now I can click Make It. It's gonna pull it onto two different mats. I'm gonna come over here and select R40 for my card. I forgot to mention this with the other card, but it's going to automatically put it into the center of the card, which is really nice. So as you can see here, it automatically has it right in the center for you. I'm also going to change this to an R40 card. And as you can see again, it'll automatically switch it so that it's centered. You can also move it. If I want this up a little bit further, then I can select on it. If you hit shift on your keyboard, it should keep it centered. And then I am just gonna slide this up. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here and hit continue. For my setting, I am going to search for insert card and I will select that and hit done. First, it's gonna draw on the inside of the card, so I will show you how I do that. I bend the front of the card to the back of the card so that the inside is facing the top and that way the Cricut will draw on the inside of the card, if that makes sense. I add my black Cricut pin, then load the card mat into the machine and the Cricut will draw on the inside of the card. I remove the card from the card mat, then place it the other way around so that the Cricut can cut and draw on the front of the card. I removed the card. This one has a lot of intricate cut lines, so you really just have to go super slow. I sped this up so it looks like I'm removing it a lot faster than I actually am. I went to add my insert and it was too large. It didn't fit inside of those insert cut lines. And I think my problem was I needed to make it as large as the card. So next time I will do that. But all I did was take my paper cutter and trimmed it down so that it would fit inside of the card. The insert card was still a little too big, so I trimmed it some more, and I think I trimmed it a little too much because as you can see at the top of the card, the insert doesn't fully come out of it, but I still think it looks okay. You can see part of the inside of the letters picking up off of the card, which is fine, but I didn't want it to break off or anything, so I decided to add my Barely Art glue to the inside of the letters. I love this glue, it works so well with little intricate things like this. Then I added my insert card back on top. I decided to use my brayer tool to run over it to help the glue stick down to it and it worked really well. Here's how the card looks when it's done. I think it just looks so pretty. I love the red glitter. I love the writing inside because my handwriting is definitely not that good but you can also sign it at the bottom as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would also love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free and I have a lot of fun holiday videos coming up.